So, who wants to see what I've been up to? So, the past two days, I've been um, up to science. People have been banging on to me about this uh, Get Genres in Years script and program and stuff like that. So, this is, I don't even know what to call it. New app, my new app or new something, new program in the testing phases. But well, what we're going to do, we're going to run through how it works. All right, so we're going to log in. We've logged into the app, right? So basically, on the right-hand side, we have a bunch of music, right? We have a few tracks in our music library. Just for demonstration purposes, if you have a look, right, these tracks have no genre. So what we're going to do is we're going to update the genre and the year for all these tracks, right? Now, there is 98 tracks in this music library. This is going to work for Record Box and Serato, right? So we only really need to see year, genre, and composer. I've got sign up for you in composer, right? Before I do anything, right, how long do you reckon it would take you to set the genre and the years for 98 tracks? Just put it put it down in the comments down below, right? Do you know what? Especially the year as well. The genre could be quite easy. You look at some of these tracks, you see the BPM, you know they're 125, you know, you know it's a, a house track. That's quite straightforward. But how long would it take you to get this year for every single one of these tracks? Put a rough, rough, rough something in the chat. Right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go to the folder of where this music lives. Now, I know where the folder lives. So I'm going to click select and then this window is going to come up. So if I go to my music folder, I've got a folder here called house, right? So I'm going to click that and click open. Now, you're going to see a bunch of new options appear. But the main one we're going to do right now is is get genre in years, right? Now, this thing needs a little bit of tweaking, but I'm gonna show you how it works. So literally, we've got the folder at the top here. All we need to do now is click get genre in years, right? It's pointing to that folder, so we're gonna click this. At the top, you can see that it says running the script. All right, cool. See that at the top now? Whole load of things are moving, right? Everyone can see that at the top. Yeah, everyone can see up here. Whole load of things are happening right now. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wait until the thing says script is completed, right? So now you can see at the top that this now says script completed, right? So in record box, in order to get our genre in years, all we need to do is press Control A, highlight all the tracks, right click, and then we're gonna reload tags. And if you see there, all the tracks have a genre, house, 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 dance, uh, if, I, if I order it. Some of them have dance, right? Some of them have house. Yeah, so they're all covered. Now, the years. So let's open up these a bit. They don't know on my mind extended mix. So 2015, 2017, 2013, blah, blah, blah. It's got all this information. One big bit that a lot of house DJs will really like is this bit here. You see this bit here on the right-hand side. Let's, let's move over to Composer a little bit. So this is something I've worked on and I'm going to start improving over time if you're a house dj obviously there's a load of different house um genres sub genres and stuff like that so for most of them it's just house but you might want progressive house right so you've got progressive house here but if we come down we've got slap house i have no idea what slap house is deep tech house progressive house deep house disco house funky tech house house tribal house whatever if you wanted to right let's do it in there now so if i've got a playlist on the right hand side so i'm doing this all in record box now you all know how much of a serato fan i am but we'll start in record box with the record box fans right in playlists i can right click and go to new intelligent playlist right and then we're going to call this was it progressive was it, was it progressive house if you go to composer contains progressive house you now have a smart crate for progressive house right let's make another one let's have a look Tech House, right, Tech House, I know Tech House. This is going to be our Tech House Smart Crate. And we'll go over to Composer, Contains, Tech House, um, and then go to OK. And now we have a Smart Playlist with all our Tech House tracks. Now, running that script took how long, people? I don't know, flipping. For 98 tracks, was it even a minute? So basically, from, from that, you can create your smart playlist and then go ahead and DJ. Now, the reason why I'm making this and I'm trying to do this for DJs, yeah, is because I want you lot to stop worrying about music live organization, yeah, and get out and DJ. Do you know what I mean? I don't want you lot to be stressed. I don't want you lot to have Serato face when you're DJing. I want you to organize at home as quick as possible so you can go out and DJ, right? I'm going to show you a lot in Serato as well. So for the Serato users, obviously my big fans, whatever, Serato users. In Serato, you can still see they say um, no genre and there's no years in here. If I go to files and then press rescan ID free tags, you can see that all these tracks have now been updated. Everyone, everyone happy? So for both softwares, Rekordbox and Serato, it works. Now, if you have Traktor, if you have Virtual DJ, DJ Pro, whatever DJ software, yeah, 
honestly, I'll it, it, it works. 